Sanjay Hegde, is it a storm in a teacup? Give us the constitutional position. Article 1, uh, subsection 1 says India, that is Bharat. Do you believe, therefore, that we need to in any way get into this debate in the first instance? You can use India, you can use Bharat. You see, uh, when the constitution was drafted, it was drafted for a country which had suffered a partition. It was a deeply divided society. Our constitution, as has often been pointed out, is a compromise document signed by very great men, depending on the violence of that time. So we came out saying that India, that is Bharat, shall be a union of states. Various states acceded to the Indian Union and the, it was a quasi-federation that came up. Both names have continued. If both names continue, there is no problem. It is if you seek to efface one name or the other. Mm -hmm. Now let's turn this around. Supposing that in, there was a government which said that we shall from now on be called only India. Bharat is lost. If they wanted to do that, they would have to amend the constitution. Similarly, if you want to say that it will be only Bharat from now on, then, then to efface the name of India, mm -hmm. you would have to amend the constitution. Mm -hmm. You would have to say there will be a Supreme Court of Bharat. You will have to say that there will be a president of Bharat. There will be a comptroller and auditor general of Bharat. So all those places, amendments would be required. So, okay, so you're saying that if only one name is to remain, then you will have to bring in all these dramatic changes. Let me turn to you, Sanju Varma. Is, the, is this a weapon of mass distraction? You see, it almost seems as if the BJP wants every day some item to set the new cycle. The latest is Bharat versus India. Many will say this is a false binary. Most Indians are proud Indians and Bharatiyas. I certainly am. I feel strongly about my being an Indian citizen. And I'm proud about being part of a country called Bharat. Why is the BJP trying to create these? Uh, by only end up creating more confusion. Rajdeep, uh, I have a bit of a grouse with you. Everybody, uh, it is Sanju Varma, national spokesperson of the BJP. Yes, yes, thank you so much. Indian or Bharatiya? <laughs> national Indian. National Indian, they're all interchangeable. Okay, okay good. Angle <laughs> with you uh, since you uh, said that at the start of the debate. Uh, you know, uh, this is a rather interesting debate. You know, series of Bharat versus India. I just have this to say. As Sanjay Hegde said, uh, first and foremost, constitution. Constitution. It mm -hmm. clearly mentions India. In the Samvidhan, as in constitution, it says India. Point number two, we've had uh, Bombay became Mumbai, but Bombay High Court is what it is still called. Madras became Chennai, but Madras High Court is what it is still called. Allahabad became Prayagraj, but Allahabad High Court is what it is still called. So let us not box ourselves into thinking that this will create confusion. Uh, you know, we are able to live with many binaries, to borrow your phrase. Point number three, I am rather amused by the statements of Shashi Tharoor, statements of K.C. Venu Gopal, uh, statements from RJD leader Manoj Jha, and you know, uh, just about uh, anybody from the Congress, including, uh, you know, uh, Jairam Ramesh, who's the nanny of Rahul Gandhi. What I fail to understand is, Congress ke peet mein itna dard kyun ho raha hai? After all, after every success, the army very joyously says Bharat Mata Ki Jai. Jab humko bhi kuch celebrate karna hota hai, I don't know about the Congress, but I to kehti hu Bharat Mata Ki Jai and very proudly at that. If you see our national anthem, Janagana Mana Adhinayak Jai Hai Bharat Bhagya Vidhata. There also you have the term Bharat. And now coming to the mood point of the argument. I think India and Bharat are both interchangeable. We don't need to replace one with the other. And indeed, if an amendment has to come, that will be done via Article 368 to amend Article 1 of the Constitution. But at this point, the government or the BJP officially has not suggested anything to that effect. Okay. The most important point, just give me 30 seconds more, please. Okay. 
I just have this to say very quickly. The meat of the argument is this: the term Bharat has existed since more than five thousand years and beyond. Mm -hmm. It found mention in Rig Veda, which says that Bharat is the progenitor of civilization, and Bharatas as a tribe were the ancestors of the Kauravas and Pandavas. Mm -hmm. The Bhagavad Gita says Bharata means somebody who is the conqueror and emperor of the world, and the Purana say. Bharat is the entire land mass north of the ocean and south of the snowy mountains, as in Himalayas. But the best definition is given in the Ramayana, which says that Bharata epitomizes everything that dharma is all about. I'll so come to the history, ma'am. I'll, 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 I'll come to the history, but your time is up. Your time Bharata is up, ma'am. You crossed your thirty seconds. Your time is up. Supriya Shrinen, one of the arguments that Sanju Verma and uh, Others from the BJP are making. Why? Why is the Congress and the opposition getting so hot under the collar? The fact is, according to Sanju Verma, the BJP has not made any official. Or the Modi government has not officially suggested they want to change the name of the country. Both the names, according to Sanju Verma, in this program are interchangeable. So, is this a storm in a teacup? And is the Congress and the opposition adding to it by suggesting some conspiracy theory? So three minutes, 45 seconds, uninterrupted. I hope the same courtesy will be offered to me by the Bharatiya Janata Party. Let me first base my arguments on three pillars. Pillar number one, this is nothing but a rattled BJP running for cover after having spent millions of dollars in getting up a G20. China and Russia, the big leaders, their big heads of state giving it a miss. No track has reached consensus yet. There is no consensus of a joint communique. And so let's, let's have a weapon of mass distraction. Let's talk about something like this. That's point number one. Mm -hmm. Point number two, and this is a very important point. We name our alliance India and the prime minister goes on record to compare the name of my motherland and your motherland and his own motherland with that of slavery, which is East India Company and a terror organization, Indian Mujahideen. He does not look the other way. He I sheepishly know. also yes, calls us... Please keep her voice down. Sanju Baba, you will not be telling me. Who is the name of my mother? Who is the name of my mother? Forget about that. Now let's come to India. There is never a debate. Our constitution, Article 1, rightly pointed out, gives us both those identities. And guess what? Why do I say this is a desperate BJP trying to shift the narrative and trying to build a headline? Because the BJP doesn't have a two-third majority in the Rajya Sabha to amend the constitution. This will require amendment of the constitution. So this is just one more hot air balloon like the CAA where the notes, uh, rules have not been notified or the UCC or anything else like that which they keep floating these uh, hot air balloons for. I will only end my argument by saying one simple thing. You call it India or, call you, or, or you call it Bharat. Unemployment is the big crisis no matter what we call our country. People reeling under high back breaking prices, big problem. Income inequality, big problem. Money poor, big problem. Call it India, call you Bharat. And guess what? The biggest problem is the Adani scam from which they want to shift the focus. Mm -hmm. It happens in India, it happens in Bharat, no matter what you call my motherland. I will love it with passion that you can never think about. Okay, because can we I... fought the war for Indian independence or we have ki swadinta ka sangram bhi lada jo dono kaam aap nahi kar paaye. So can don't I... shift narratives. Don't float water balloons. While you are claiming that the, the BJP is trying to shift narratives, can I... Can I ma 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 just a minute. Ma'am, can I just ask you, are, is your India Alliance planning to change its name as a result? Will you remain India Alliance? Or are you also in a way... Now I'm going to think twice, do I make it Bharat or India? You know, I, I want to just uh, lighten the mood a little. Maybe we should try the name Modi. Apna naam hi badal lenge Pradhan Mantri ji. If he never accepts that, maybe he will go on to change the name. The reality, Rajdeep, is that no matter what you call India, Bharat, Hindustan, Sarzami, Vatan, Matra Bhumi, we still, our heart still beats for India, it beats for the 140 crore people. Mm -hmm. I will say one final time, 1.6 billion people, 160 crore log between China and Russia have given the G20 a miss. 
This is nothing but a desperate government running for cover to justify the pomp and show, the 24 by 7 com commentary, okay. the lockdown that Delhi is brought into by shifting focus on something like this. Interesting that that is how the Congress is reading this. Mr. Sarvanan, DMK, yes. how are you all reading it? Are you seeing this as an assault on the South in some way? That the South must have the right to decide how it looks at India? See, uh, Rajdeep, uh, the BJP RSS ecosystem is paralyzed with fear because mm -hmm. of the unity mm -hmm. of the opposition in the India alliance. Mm -hmm. They somehow want to rattle it. Uh, Madam Supriya clearly pointed out on the day when Mr. Uh, when the India alliance was about to happen, mm -hmm. they said we are going to have a special parliamentary session. Mm -hmm. The next day, they were speaking about that mm -hmm. uh, we are going to bring one nation, one election. That is the rumor floated and every news channel was debating that. And in the morning, the former president was appointed as the one-man committee to go into this one uh, nation, one election thing. And we all debated that. And suddenly now, today, they want to change the narrative. We don't know why Why they want to change the narrative. Probably because... No, is the, the DMK player... comfortable with, with any change? If there was to be a name change, would you support it? No, no. So we, we will come to it. We will... Uh, cross the bridge when we come near the bridge. The only thing is this. You don't know, I don't know. The BJP spokesperson does not know whether they will bring in any amendment. This this is a waste of time. Arguing whether the name should be India or Bharat, mm -hmm. whether the BJP will do it or not is a waste of time. And that is what the BJP wants us to do. Waste our time instead of speaking about the problems of the common man. Will it reduce the gas price? Whatever name it may be. Will it reduce the petrol price? Will it reduce, will it ensure that there will be no violence in Manipur? Will it ensure that there is justice for everybody?